What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Avenue 767. Today, I have a Springfield International Airport update for you guys. Before I get into the main update, I just want to say a quick little thing. Uh, I'm very sorry for the lack of uploads um, into the new year. So, I got sidetracked with some stuff. Um, so, I, I'm very sorry about that. And another thing is, if you know runway 32 left, uh, 27 right, technically. Uh, that is now out of service. I don't know when it will be back in service, but I'm going to think about doing some different stuff at the airport. Um, who knows, but I will update you guys when that gets situated. But apart from that, let's get straight into the video. We're starting off with this brand new Southwest Boeing 737-800. He just arrived in from San Diego, and... He's going to be departing back out there later today. Now here just pushing back is this JetBlue A320. He is just going to be heading out to Seattle. Now here just getting fueled up and catered is this American Airlines Boeing 737-800 MAX. He is just going to be heading out for a flight to Punta Cana and that is where he arrived in from yesterday. Now here just taxiing onto the runway is this Delta Airbus A321. This is probably one of my actual favorite models I got from Christmas, so I, I really, it's a good model. Anyways, he's just going to be departing out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Now over here we have a model that has not been in an update for a decent amount of time. He is just uh, now getting fueled up and last few things on board. This is a KLM A33200 that will be departing out to Amsterdam. Now possibly one of the rarest models in my Honda collection right here is this Embraer ERJ-170 United Airlines. Just getting pushed back for a flight out to Chicago and he arrived in from Roanoke Regional Airport earlier today. Now here's taxiing out is this United Express Sierra J550. He is going to be making a flight out to Washington, Dulles. Now here, just also taxing to a gate is this Allegiant A319. He just arrived in from Orlando, Stafford, and he's going to be making that turnaround back to other. Now here, just taking off is this Frontier A320, Griswold the Bear. Livery, he is just going to be making a flight out to Denver. Now here, just getting luggage on board is this American Air Eagle, and Bear Ear J145. He is just going to be making a flight out to Charlotte. And we have this US Airways Ear J145. Pushing back for a flight out to Philadelphia. Now here we have this Delta CRJ700 section right here. As you guys can see, the terminal has changed just a little bit. So this side is now Delta. This side is now uh, American. And right there is the United Terminal. Uh, slash any other regional aircraft that will be coming to Springfield. Anyways, right here we have this Delta CRJ700 getting catering on board. Going to be making a flight out to Atlanta. And right here we have this Delta CRJ700 who's going to be making a flight out to Detroit. And here just getting some maintenance done is this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. NG models, my only model, which I do want to expand the fleet. Anyways, he is getting maintenance done like I said and he's going to be heading out to Charlotte once the maintenance is done. He's been here way, uh, way over for like two days now so... He will be getting back out there soon. Now here just in the hangar is this Aeroflot A350-900. He's also getting some maintenance done as well. Now here just taxiing out is this UPS MD-11 Freight. He's going to be making a flight out to Louisville. And that is as well where he came in from earlier today. Here we have Prime Air Boeing 737. He is getting packages on board. And he's going to be making a flight out to Minneapolis. And there just behind him is that FedEx Boeing 767-300 who is also getting packages on board and is going to be making a flight out to Memphis. I hope you guys enjoyed the update. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Uh, I will get more info to you guys once again though about the runway situation. You guys also might be wondering where in the world the snow is. Well, I have not gotten time to do that this year, but funny enough, we have a 17 inches to 20 inches snow coming on Sunday. Uh, today, when you're probably watching this, uh, Sunday, January 16th. So that'll be pretty fun. I'll be sure to get the snow in next update, of course, and have a great day, everybody. Enjoy. Bye.